Now we are talking parenting and there is nothing more stressful than a child that won't eat the nourishing dinner that you have painstakingly prepared. How do we ensure our toddlers are getting the right nutrients into their diet? Joining us today on the Animum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, health and nutrition experts Rebecca Cannon and Vanessa Baxter. Good morning to you both. Morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. This is an age old problem, getting the right things into your toddler. Vanessa, what are the risks of not getting the right nutrients at a young age? Well, the problem for little toddlers is if they don't get a really good balanced diet, you know, there are repercussions for them emotionally, mentally and physically. So, you know, you'll get that grotty child having tantrums and being kind of all over the place and... Uh, their mood swings and things and that is really a sign of tiredness and, and a lack of a really good balanced diet. Mm. Uh, the other one of course is uh, they tend to get sick a lot so you know there, there's no natural immunity being built up or supported and so sadly you know they tend to be that sick child and the repercussions of that is that they're not learning, they're not developing well and of course the obvious one in society now is, is the issue of obesity where kids mm. are being fed far too uh, off balance balanced sugar and high carb type diets and then they become actually so attuned to that diet that they crave it more and of course they're physical. And that is not a good start to no, life it's is not it? not a good start. Uh, so Rebecca what about what are the common nutrients that can be missing from a New Zealand toddler's diet? Yes uh, well I mean it's quite obvious you know the toddler years are a period of rapid growth um, but it's not just physical growth it's also other areas such as brain development and important nutrients for brain development include iron, and mm. DHA and B vitamins. For physical growth, you've got protein, calcium and vitamin D and zinc. But um, as we're just hearing, you know, the immune system is going through an important sensitive period of development where it's developing protective um, aspects of defense, but also tolerance to the environment, so not becoming mm. allergic. And for the immune system, it's important to have zinc, vitamin A, um, vitamin D, um, and also helpful ingredients such as prebiotics and friendly bacteria. Um, so a good uh, diet with lots of different foods in it is important, but it's also important to appreciate that some of these nutrients aren't found in a wide variety of foods. Okay, so you've yeah. really got to think about it. Vanessa, yeah. what happens if you've got a fussy eater? Well, most toddlers are going to go through a stage of fussy eating. It just comes with the territory. So uh, there's a couple of things there. One, I think it's really important uh, when you are introducing new foods to toddlers to keep the size applicable to the age of the child. So to give them a massive big plate full of fresh steamed vegetables is not going to work. Eat this, darling, it's good for you. So just keeping uh, things really small. You know, like I like to say to parents that I'm talking to, just keep it pea-sized. You know, something really tiny, like a little sauce container, pop a, a new food that you're trying to introduce in there and just keep reintroducing it. Uh, for the child, it is going to be something completely new, so be mindful of that. And you can use that mindful language, that beautiful language of, I can completely appreciate this is going to be a challenge for you to try. You know, <laughs> it is new. Uh, and I know you don't really feel like trying it. And then sort of pause, because then they'll take in, wow, actually, mum's on my side here. She realises that I don't really want want to eat this rather than you sort of screaming at them or yeah. you know want to sort of say I need you to eat this because the psychology of the toddler age as well oh, comes yeah. into they're play pushing, they're pushing they're pushing boundaries. boundaries yeah um, you know clamped mouths screwed up face oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Good times. really we could do that as an adult um Rebecca what can we give our toddlers to bridge the gap and help boost the nutrient intake well variety is really important and whole foods home-cooked meals are fantastic um so if you're thinking about um, fruits and vegetables, you know, the more colourful the better and the wider variety that you can get into their diet, um, the more useful it's going to be for them. Um, we're also coming into winter, so cooking a lot of stews and casseroles and sauces. And, and soups. Yeah, and, and grating vegetables mm. into that is fantastic. You know, carrot um, is great to grate into things and adds texture and flavour. Um, but sometimes kids can be fussy and... Um, you know, I think you've just got to be really patient and be persistent and encourage them as you go. Um, sometimes, you know, you might be a bit concerned, though, that they're not getting everything that they might um, need to fuel their development. And in that case, something like a toddler milk can help to um, fill that gap for them because it is um, milk with boosted vitamins mm. and minerals and other helpful ingredients in there like prebiotics and friendly bacteria. 
but there's a lot of choices out there and I think you really have to be careful to choose one that doesn't have added sugars in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. That's a very great advice from the both of you. Coffee Group is brought to you by Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool ebook from Anne Mum. Now, we loved all of the great suggestions last week, and congratulations to Charlie Anderson, the winner of this ebook.